What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, uh, we had a conversation regarding Black Adam a few weeks ago, and I had mentioned to you that I predicted that Superman may make, may make an appearance. What I did say, though, as well, was that Henry Cavill will be in. So thus far, I, I seem to be half right. I still think Henry Cavill is going to show up. I think they're throwing this out there to, so, so that the big surprise when people go to the theaters to see this movie and it's actually Henry Cavill. I just feel it in my bones because I know The Rock and Henry Cavill are cool. And we've seen them together and they've spoken. And Henry and Rock has a lot of pull. I'm telling you, should Night 2.0, whatever he wants, happens. Brian, what are your thoughts of the possibility if we do get a Superman, a, a, a Superman cameo appearance and it's similar to how they did Shazam? What are your thoughts on that uh, sequence if it does happen? Well, if they do it the way they did Shazam, that's a disgrace. Um, I'm, I'm 100% on a faceless, headless, just see the costume from the neck down. That would be the fitting letdown of a movie that I think is gonna let you down um, by the time you leave the theater. But I, The Rock also acknowledged, a, I think he'd on social media, he acknowledged a fan post about and requesting Henry Cavill and kind of saying he's aware of it and you know he agrees but like you know i i hear what you're saying but like it's a legal problem it's a contractual issue right like to get henry cavill in the movie really comes down to money is he is he contracted to do, do does he have any appearances left on his old contract that he has to fulfill are they going to sign him to a new contract just to do you know a couple a couple scenes i'm skeptical uh, it would certainly add to the buzz around the movie, but I'm skeptical. And it would be it would be just like everything that I feel. See, you feel in the bones that you're going to get Henry Cavill. My feeling in the bones is that this movie is going to disappoint. And so to me, a, a, a Superman cameo that's not really Superman would fit with that and be like The Rock being like, how cool is it that I have Superman? He's right there in the movie. But you don't have Superman. You got nothing. You got, you got, you know, you got some dude in Times Square in a costume who, who jumped on set for a day. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Okay, Brian, but let me pose this scenario. What if it is Henry Cavill? Let's say, just say he shows up yeah. and it's Henry Cavill. If you see that on screen, does, do, do you get excited? Do you, do you, are you with the many fans that will be perhaps yelling like, yay, you know, and clapping, Henry Cavill and stuff. For me, it's like, okay, what else you got? Because this, is, this, this isn't it. I've seen Henry Cavill Superman. What do you have for the future of this character? If it's not going to be Henry Cavill after this, are you just throwing him in there just for a cameo so you can hear the screams of the, of the fans? What's the point is my thing, Brian? Yeah, I'd be more confused uh, than excited. Um, you know, we, we've obviously, we know that David Zaslav is prioritizing Superman. We have heard rumors there's some interest in maybe bringing Cameron Cavill back. You and I are both in the camp. He's too old. I mean, we, we, he's, he's going to be close to 40 years old. I think if you do this, you will invite a, an avalanche of questions. Is Henry Cavill back now as the, DC, as the official DC Superman? If he's not, and like this is just for like this movie, and he's gonna be like a, uh, it's gonna be like they have all these Batman running around. Now you're gonna have like Henry Cavill's just gonna do Superman for Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam franchise, but we're gonna have a different Superman be our actual Superman. I think that's confusing. Man. I think that's confusing. Like Man. Batman's in a different place. Like Batman as a character as a franchise, it's in a different place. I think there's it's easier to say, look, we got a great Pattinson. We got a great Matt Reeves franchise. We can play around with 
an iconic Michael Keaton Batman and have him be around and, and have people not get confused. Superman is not in that place. Superman's a mess right now as a character. And if you bring Henry Cavill back halfway, I think it only adds to the confusion and new manager will be making a mistake if they sign off on that. So like, Will I react to the scene and like enjoy it? Yeah, I'm a fan of movies, but like, will I walk out of the theater being like Superman is back? No. Listen. If you've listened to this show long enough, there's no Listen, we don't, I don't despise the rock or anything. I I just, I I, I just, I I see things with that whole situation that I'm not like too comfortable with, with regards to um, where things are going with DC, EU. And um, the rock being involved, how old is the rock? 50. And how I mean, I mean, how many sequels are we gonna get from this movie? Where did where does it all lead to? Yeah, I get those people that say, Oh, I want to see a good movie, I don't care about the whole, but hey, this is the game right now. The MCU universe is the game. These one-offs, cool. Where are we going from here? That's the game, that's the money right there. And I don't think you can afford to make flops here and a billion dollars there. You know, I, I I think you want that consistency of bringing in that money on a consistent basis. Not because obviously, yeah, you want the money, but you want to do justice to these characters. And that's where I have this uncomfortable feeling with it when it comes to the DCEU, regardless of, you know, Zaslav coming in and revamping stuff, we still don't know where things are heading. We yeah. It looks good. It looks good so far, but it's nothing. We, we, we're still left in the dark. We still don't know uh, what they, they, we've offered our thoughts on what they could do or what they should do and all that other stuff. Um, but based on the actions of uh, thus far taken with the, the merger or whatever, or the takeover, it seems like they're heading that way. But with The Rock involved and Black Adam, a movie that I, for me, it just came too late, Brian. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not interested that much. I want to see it because I'm a fan, but I want to see what they do with this just so that I can prove myself right. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I was going to say, look, when, when when The Rock signed to do this movie, he was 35. I mean, that kind of tells you what the original vision and idea was. Uh, you know, and I'm like, look, listen, he looks amazing at age 50. He's defying, you know, he's mm-hmm. defying all the time. But like, to your point, like, The Rock at 60, 62, 65, can he still do this? Here's the other thing that concerns me about this. We, there's been, a, if you go online and you Google the Rock and Vin Diesel's issues in Fast and Furious movies. One of the things that came out of that back and forth was that both of them had issues with how they would be portrayed in fight scenes to the point where neither one of them, like they literally had it like written into the contract supposedly about what they could be shown to do in a fight. As in, they couldn't be shown to be down for longer than X amount of time. They couldn't be shown to be receiving certain kinds of punishment. And they ha- and like they had to. Do no one should honestly, be dominating the other. <laughs> do you honestly think in a Black Adam movie that Superman will be given a fair shot if he goes toe to toe with Black Adam? Because I don't. I think he's a jobber. And that would be a, that would annoy the heck out of me. If you bring him, if you bring Superman or Henry Cavill Superman in, and basically he can't, you know, The Rock is not going to let himself get beaten up or outshone by Superman. The whole point of Superman in there is to put The Rock over and to put Black Adam over as the most badass anti-hero in the DC universe. I don't need to see that. I know they fought in the comics, but when they fight in the comics, it's even. <laughs> That's yeah. different. Yeah. 
So that's my other like. I'm, I'm worried. Yeah, man. Um, let's see what happens, man. I said that Henry Cavill Superman is going to be in this film. I think it's going to happen. Um, but I just don't think this. I, I would love to be proven wrong, Brian. I really would love to be proven wrong. But I just have this gut feeling that this movie is just going to be a big ego trip. I agree. I, see, to me, it's like if 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 if, if Zaslav's asked asked my opinion for like where you want to aspire to with Superman, I would just clip the Superman Dark Side fight from just from uh, Justice League and send that to him and be like, aspire to get your Superman to where we want that moment where he's like, this is my chance to cut loose. Get us to that point where we're like, we want to see that fight. That's the fight we really want to see done well. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That 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 was one of the best uh in Justice League animated series, Justice yeah. League Unlimited. That yeah. was one of that was that was one of the best moments. Oh my god. So much stuff that you can just look at and be like, let's do that. But no. The other thing, by the way, just to just to while we stay on this, this is the other reason why. So if they had Henry Cavill. And they wanted to get the hype train going for this movie. That is the perfect Comic Con reveal. Yeah. Perfect. Like, if they had a Black Adam panel, they got a new trailer, he, they're hyped in the movie, and then all of a sudden, Henry Cavill walks on stage. That would build some excitement, better or worse. I'm just saying. So the fact they're not doing that and there's no panel there, I don't know what's going on, man, but. <sighs> If Zaslav offered you a job, would you take it? Oh, if he offered me Walter Hamada's job? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably be overwhelmed because that's fresh. It's an overwhelming job. But you still take it. Plus, you'd walk in there and be like, it's easy comps. How can I do worse? <laughs> Word, man. Oh, man. Although, they, although your first day, man, you basically be like firing a whole bunch of people with legal problems. Oh, yeah. Who was involved <laughs> with this movie? Okay. I, all of those people gone. Gone. They'll be the, oh, my God. Yeah, a lot of people will be let go. I wouldn't want to get, I don't, I wouldn't want to be responsible for that. But anyway, uh, let us know in the comment section below what your guys, what you guys um, think about this uh, possibility of Superman being a cameo, similar to how uh, Superman showed up in Shazam, um, and the possibility of Harry Cavill. Uh, showing up in this film uh what are your thoughts on how that should go and if he's not the the long if he's not the long-term wb superman if he's just doing this do you want him to do justice yeah i know there's a lot of fans brian that just want to see that people are going to cheer for anything that's, that's fine but it's like i i don't care but um, yeah, um, we'll see you next time on another Jet Report.